the church, the entire building will cost once it finishes, it will be 25 million dirhams. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of money. Hi, I'm Sarah Fawcett, news editor here at The National, and welcome to another edition of A Closer Look. Now today we are looking at the St. George Orthodox Cathedral. Now it's here in Abu Dhabi and September last year it was completely demolished. However, three months later, the foundation stone was laid for the new iteration of the cathedral. To talk to me a little bit more about what we can expect from the finished building next year, it's Anjana Sankar, one of our reporters. Anjana, thank you for joining me. Hi, Taro. So, I mean, this, this church was completely demolished, right? And yeah. they're starting from scratch. How far along are they now? And when can we expect it to be finished? So, according to the church management, we will have the new, shining new cathedral by uh, May next year. Mm -hmm. uh, more than 2,000 worshippers can pray at the same time in this new cathedral. So now, almost 40% of the work is complete, which is, I think, they are building the church in two different phases. Okay. The first phase, uh, which costs around 9 million dirhams. Mm -hmm. So they have the parsonage uh, block, there's a wicker's room, VIP rooms, meeting rooms, and all of those you know, infrastructure that they need for the church, mm -hmm. including the boundary wall, is complete. And the second phase, which is ongoing now, which costs around 16 million dirhams, mm -hmm. which will be completed by May, that will be the main cathedral, the main prayer hall that they're building. Mm -hmm. It will be all ready by May. Wow, I'm yes. sure there's a lot of people looking forward to this. So you mentioned some financial numbers there. How much is it going to cost in total? And, you know, an important question always is who's paying for it? Yeah, that's always a question. But here, the church, the entire building will cost, once it finishes, it will be 25 million dirhams. Mm -hmm. So that's a lot of money. But uh, the entire cost is taken by the church members. And the good news is, you know, there's always a lot of very generous community members here, whether they're Christians or not, who supports these kind of, uh, you know, community and religious uh, activities and freedom in the UAE. Mm -hmm. So recently, one of the most prominent Indian businessmen in the UAE, Mr. Yusuf Ali, who's the chairman of the Lulu, Lulu yeah. group, he uh, donated one million dirhams. So I'm sure that when we spoke to the, the priest, Eldo Paul, he said uh, community members and church members are generously contributing and that is why they are, how they are covering the cost. Incredible. Yes. So uh, the St. George Orthodox Cathedral has quite a history, yeah. doesn't it? It's, it's, it's been around for a long time, you know, potentially even longer than the UAE. Exactly. That is why I think this church is so special mm. because uh, this church is older than the UAE. It was first established, their first parish was formed in 1968, mm. like almost three years before the United Arab Emirates was formed. And then later, as their church members grew, they, they, they built a church in Khalidia. That was the first church that they built in 1970. Mm -hmm. And the land was generously donated by none other than our late UAE president, founding president, Sheikh Zayed. Mm. And from Khalidia, they moved uh, into this current premises, which is at Mushrif, where mm -hmm. there are a lot of other churches and religious uh, yes. uh, institutions um, are there in Mushrif. Mm -hmm. So they moved to this new location. And that is the church now that has been completely demolished and they're building a new one. And the reason being is the number of worshippers are increasing and they want to cater to this growing number of uh, worshippers and churchgoers. Mm. Yeah. So one of the one of the more notable things about the UAE when you come to visit here is the sheer variety of places where you can worship. Um, obviously, we're in the Middle East, we're in a Muslim country, but that does not mean that other people are not welcome to worship, you know, in a place that suits them. And I mean, uh, very very particular to this point, uh, I'll ask you this question: Who laid the foundation stone for the very first? St. George's uh, Orthodox Cathedral. Who was it? Yeah, it is Sheikh Zayed. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And Sheikh Zayed, uh, many of the churches or other worshipping centres that you see, whether it's a Hindu temple, we can see that when we look at their history, the land was donated by the UAE leadership, you know, starting, obviously starting from Sheikh Zayed, who set that precedence of promoting religious tolerance and helping other religious communities have the freedom to worship. And the UAE allows that uh, other religious faiths to have the freedom to worship. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact, uh, you know, if you look at uh, um, the Middle East, 
um, it is a grave concern for Christians all around the world that the dwindling, dwindling number of Christians, it's only like 4%. I think mm -hmm. from 20%, they have now come down to 4%. But if you look at the UAE, the Christian community is flourishing. So this is like a safe haven for not just for Christians, all other religious communities. We have, in fact, 40 different uh, churches of various denominations mm. um, in the UAE catering to you know Christians from all over the world. We have three Hindu temples, one definitely coming, the iconic one yeah. coming up in Abu Dhabi. We have a Sikh Gurudwara and we have a Buddhist temple. Mm. So this is definitely a you know a haven for religious tolerance and yeah. peace. Yeah. I know that we, we covered together, didn't we, the opening of the Abrahamic family house, which was seen as sort of a testament to religious tolerance. Yes. But really it's been going on for a lot long. It's been literally that's been the case since the the day the country started. Yeah, so I think that that is what sets UAE apart. And if you look at the growing population of the UAE, why people are so attracted to come, you know, work here, build a home, build a family here, mm -hmm. is because um, not just for economic prosperity, the country also offers religious freedom and mm -hmm. the freedom to practice their faith, which is very important for a lot of people around the world. Yeah, right. Well, Angela, we'll get you back here in May because we obviously want to see the grand opening. We want to yes. see when it's ready to go, the St. George Orthodox Cathedral. But um, until then, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Well, that's it for this week's episode of A Closer Look brought to you from right here inside the Nationals newsroom. Remember, if you'd like to watch any of our previous episodes, you will find them all on our YouTube channel.